comic John Deary, everybody. Give it up for John. I, uh, I just turned 30. Yeah. I just turned 30. No, it's, you're, not, you're right not to clap. It's wrong. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. I've just been playing Mario Kart for 25 years. Like, I've achieved nothing. It's nothing worth talking about. So it just bummed me out thinking about where my parents were when they were 30. Because when they were 30, they, they were married. They had my sister and I. They had a home. And they were trying to figure out who got what in the divorce. Like, it's... <laughs> Light years ahead of me. Child of divorce. Anyone else? Child of divorce? Yeah? Is it your fault? That's the question. I'm very confident it's not my fault. My parents sat me down and explained, we're getting divorced, it's not your fault. And I know they were sincere because my sister wasn't there. So I feel like they, they probably had a different conversation with her. And my parents definitely had their shit together because they didn't just have kids, they adopted kids. So that means a third party was like, here you go. Like, you can have these kids. <laughs> if I had attempted to adopt the child where I am right now in my life, the agency would just take custody of me again. <laughs> they put up for adoption all over. <laughs> Run me out. Uh, growing up, though, my mom, like my rebound mom, she, uh, she, she told me, she's like, the moment I saw you, it was love at first sight, I knew you would be my son. And that's a really nice sentiment. I was like, Dad, did you have the same experience? And he was just like, ah. He's like, you were the only white baby they had. <laughs> yeah. My dad, uh, my dad just voted for Trump, which uh, I disagree with him on. And uh, it's like, not only does he believe in building a wall between the US and Mexico, but building a wall between the two of us, so. <laughs> So I have an English degree, and don't get one of those. And uh, I'm having a hard time getting a job, and my dad was like, you know what the problem is? The problem is all these Mexicans coming over here, getting all the good American jobs. Yeah, he's laughing because he knows it's true. <laughs> I was like, yeah, dad, all the Mexicans coming over here, getting all the good English degree jobs. <laughs> I'm, sure that's, I'm sure that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, so I turned 30, uh, bummed about that. I'm bummed also because my friends keep getting married all around me and I have to go to their weddings, and uh, basically I'm tired of giving them money for having a better life than me. <laughs> so, it's not, why am I giving you money? You have two incomes coming to your home. <laughs> I, have, I have 0.5 incomes. <laughs> uh, a couple of my friends invited me to a destination wedding, which they knew I couldn't come to. I think they just didn't want me at their wedding, so they had it all the way over there, so I can come. <laughs> I hope their stupid destination wedding turns into a final destination wedding. <laughs> Thank you so much, police. But I recently went to a wedding and uh, someone told the groom's dad that he did stand up. So he was so excited to tell me jokes all night. And uh, most of them were along the lines of where the groom would come walking by and he'd elbow me or grab me and be like, we got a dead man walking. I was like, that's not good. I'm sorry. I thought about it though. I was like, you know what? Weddings and funerals, they are pretty similar. Like, every time I go to one, I just always wish it were me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they say, always a pallbearer. <laughs> <laughs> my fridge is just covered in magnets. It's all my friends save the dates. So it's like every time I open the fridge, I'm reminded that not only is my fridge empty, but so am I. So thank you. <laughs> Now my friends are, are they're having kids on purpose, so what they do is they send you the magnet. They send you the magnet to let you know they're, they have, they're having a kid. And I don't know why, it's like always some like cheesy, weird pun. So I have one, it's the two of my friends, they're dressed as pilgrims. And it says, this Thanksgiving, the turkey won't be the only thing that's stuffed. Uh, yeah, that's, exactly, that's the appropriate reaction. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to send them a magnet of my own. I thought it would be, it's going to be a picture of me, and I have a gun in my mouth. <laughs> and it says, uh, not... Gonna make it to Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some of my friends, they, uh, they aren't having kids, instead they have dogs, and they pretend that their dogs are their kids. And that's not the same thing. Like, no dog owner has ever gone out for cigarettes and never come home. That's not a comparison at all. 
So I'm bitter. My friends were getting married. I'm also single. I went through a breakup recently. That's a bummer. I'm just really mad to be back on the dating scene because I'm not good at it. I don't know. I uh, thought I was going to sleep with a girl recently, and uh, she said, John, look, I'm not going to sleep with you, but if you want, you can tell your friends we had sex. <laughs> So the kids I bought cigarettes for think it's awesome. <laughs> this girl. I think the hardest part though is just uh, not being romantic. That's the hardest part of dating. I'm not romantic. I thought about it. The most romantic thing I've done in the last five years was I bought a second pillow for my bed. That was it. Because girls think it's weird if you only have one pillow. <laughs> pillow talk in my bedroom is just who gets this pillow. That's how it goes. <laughs> The girls would be like, what kind of guy only has one pillow? I was like, I don't know, what kind of girl? Can't take a hint, please leave, it's time to go. Be out of my house, that's my time guys, thanks so much. John